Being a senior, uh, how poetic would it be for your last match to be at Target Center in a potential national championship match? And I know you've got 30 some matches to get to that point, but that's got to be somewhere in your head. Right, yeah, that would obviously be a dream come true. That would be just the best thing, but just the thing that's going to get us there is taking it one at a time, so that's what we really have to focus on. Like, we can keep it in the back of our heads, and that's our ultimate goal, but we just got to take it one at a time, and things will happen. If you could expand on that just a little bit, I'm wondering about when you've got that enticing of a reward at the end of the season, is it best not to think about it at all during the season, or is it best to maybe every now and then bring it up, talk about it, and have it out there, and not, like, have it be the ultimate? Right, I think it's important that we talk about it and we declare, you know, that these are our goals, but we really just have to come up with the action steps on how we're going to achieve those goals. And we're not just going to complete them in one day. It's in December that that happens. So we really have to just start here in August and go day by day. And that being said, just talk about uh, playing ball ball at the Target Center and how di different that might be, maybe the atmosphere. You have that experience before? Um, yeah, well, it's a lot bigger than the PAV, so I don't know if it will be sold out necessarily for our first couple games, but we'll see how that goes, and I think it'll just be really cool to have, you know, that big of an atmosphere. We've played in arenas like that before, so that'll train us for the postseason, I think. Stephanie, we heard so much last year. You guys were such a young team. You did okay. Looking at the roster, you're still a fairly young team. How much is that experience of you and everybody else having a chance to play on that young team last year that's going to carry into experience this year? Um, I would say just kind of, you know, being able to go through season and be known as that young team. I don't know. I think we just kind of learned and grew as players and stuff like that. And then um, I think we can take our experiences from last year and help our new incoming freshmen and just kind of teach them the ropes and stuff like that. So. Well, Alexis, how tough is it sometimes with – the lineup can change day to day. How tough is it? It is – you guys are all teammates, but there is some competition to want to be in out there on the court match yeah, it's super cool. You know, like I said, everyone on the team is really good and practice is really great. I mean, everyone's scrambling, everyone's hitting really high seams. It's just great to see that, like, everyone's battling on off court. Is that a challenge sometimes where right, almost everybody out here was, you know, at least when they were in high school, was the best player on the team, and there are some people that maybe move in and out of the starting rotation even now? How much of a challenge is that to kind of put your ego away with this team? I mean, it's great, you know, every practice, everyone's battling, and it's really cool to see, like, we know it's coming from a great um, part in someone's heart, so it's just really cool that we could battle, but at the end of the day, we know, like, it's coming from a good place. Um, a question for each of you. We came in, um, your freshman year was pretty outstanding from the start. What about this program allows that, and do you think that, I mean, it just keeps breeding that, and then freshmen, obviously Stephanie last year, and then freshmen coming in this year, they have that expectation that, like, Yeah, we just try and, you know, when the freshmen come in during the summer, just kind of, first of all, just get them acclimated, like, with our team culture, and, like, this is kind of how we do things, and um, we kind of try and just lead by example in the weight room and on when we're conditioning during the summer and during open gyms and stuff like that, um, so they can really see that from us, but then once we come into the preseason and we're coaches and stuff like that, I think we really tighten up, kind of like, this is what it means to be, like, a gopher and like this is how mm -hmm. you can compete at the highest level. Mm -hmm. What is success this year? What was that? What is success this year? What is that? Look back at this season, what is success? Um, I mean, I think it's a lot of things, but I think for us success would be, you know, just con continuing to grow as a team and just learning each other and learning how to play with each other and, um, you know, just working towards reaching our goals. Yeah. Can I add to that? Yeah. I think just um, like knowing that we leave our final match or leave the last conference match, knowing that we all gave everything we had, I think that would be success and not looking back and saying, hey, we could have done this better, we could have done that better. Right. Stephanie, what areas did you improve the most in last season and how do you see your role this season? Um, last season, I feel like blocking, I was able to um, improve as season went on. 
I think just being able to read the right things and make those right moves and adjustments as the season went on and as I learned um, other teams and, you know, learn how to control myself and, like, my ability to play and stuff like that. So, yeah. And your role this season? Um, you know, just to, I don't know, just do my job, you know, whenever I can, whatever role that I have that day, you know, just go onto the court, um, give my all for my team, and, yeah, play volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, can you uh, walk me back through your recruiting process four years ago and why Minnesota was where you wanted to? Oh, wow. It seems like forever ago, but <laughs> um, I just remember I've grown up coming to go for games since I can remember, and I remember coming on my visit and just like listening to Hugh talk, and he's just so full of wisdom, and he obviously knows what he's talking about to a, a pretty great extent. And I just knew this is where I wanted to be because um, it, it was just home. And the goals that he talked about for the program and the direction that he wanted to take the program was definitely something that I wanted to be a part of. So. Back to the earlier question I had, the opportunity was there for you to play quite a bit in your freshman year. And you've had that role like ever since. Um, I mean, how, how big of it was that for you to be able to you know, be in that huge position you know, and then grow up to be a senior? Mm -hmm. I think that it's really helped me. I mean, being a freshman and playing in the Final Four was pretty overwhelming. And so I think that last year and even sophomore year and then going into this year, just using that experience and like knowing how to handle those big moments will be really helpful for my team with maybe some of the younger players who haven't had that experience. Thank you. Thank you.